Welcome to NASA Edge. An inside and outside look at all things NASA. And welcome to our special, very special show today. We're going to be looking at the Daytona 500, the 50th running, and NASA's 50th anniversary. All things NASA, all things NASCAR. It's actually a nice combination. And Franklin, you weren't there, but we're going to show you some of the things that we did when we were down there. Because not only did we get to see an incredible race, we also actually got our hands dirty, got in the pit a little bit with some astronauts that came yeah, down. Yeah, we worked with uh, two Hubble astronauts, uh, Drew Foistel and Mike Good. And also, we had a pretty big NASA exhibit there showing the relationship between NASCAR and NASA. And you'll be happy to know, Franklin, that uh, based on your tutelage, I've actually taken the ESA to a whole new level, along with Chris, of course, where not only did we ask questions about NASA, but we also asked questions about NASCAR. He took it to a new level because once you see this ESA, the tide turned on him, and you'll get to see how he reacted. That's yeah, enough disinformation. You know whenever, whenever Blair jumps out in the forefront and really starts explaining something to a T, I want to go <laughs> kind of get to Chris and say, hey, Chris, yeah. what really happened? I tell you what, let's go check the ESA out, and you let us know what your comments are. After. You know, so, I'm, I'm surprised okay. at your lack of confidence. That, this is disturbing. All right, Wonder Boy. What do you think is faster in the zero to 60 time? Do you think it would be the Ares 1 rocket or a stock car? Well, I read over there it said zero to 1,000 in 60 seconds, so. This must be a trick, what? So stock car. Stock car, well, actually, your, your husband's right. Stock car. Space shuttle. No, oh, no, 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 stock car. Stock car does. Stock car. What do you think? All right, stock car. Well, would you be shocked if I told you actually a, a stock car can beat a shuttle in the zero to 60 time? It can? Mm-hmm. Because when a rocket takes off, it takes a while to get it up to speed. Yeah. And an NASCAR can just take right off. Definitely a, a Aries one. Oh, ooh. Au contraire. Now, how long does it take for a uh, NASCAR driver to typically finish a 500-mile race with no cautions? Three hours. Now, three hours is a long time. How long do you think uh, the Aries one rocket, which is going to be the new rocket going back to the moon, how long it takes to complete 500 miles? An hour. An hour? Uh, I say 30 minutes. Try 104 seconds. Four, five hours? Four, five hours? Would you like to go to the moon? No. No? No. I don't like to fly. Now, in 1969, Daytona 500 was won by Leroy Yarbrough. What did NASA do in 1969 that was so significant? They landed on the moon. Landed on the moon. 1969. 1969. Landed on the moon. That's exactly right. Landed a man on the, the moon. moon. Landed a man on the moon. Very right. good. Who won the 500? Mario Andretti. Richard Petty. Kale Yarbrough. It's not Kale. Kale actually uh, lost out. Uh, it's a guy by the name of Leroy Yarbrough. In 1969, on July 20th, they landed on the moon. 1976, NASA first landed uh, a lander on Mars it's called Viking 1. Who won the 500 in 1976? David Pearson. David Pearson. Rovers on the moon. No, not the moon, Mars. Yeah, yeah, very Mars. good. What, do you remember the name? Do you remember the name? Viking. Yes, very good. In 1998, Dale Earnhardt won his first Daytona 500. Wow. Dale Earnhardt Sr. Right. What significant event took place in 1998 for NASA? Sort of a, Any hints? a foundation was, was laid out. <laughs> Up in space. was laid out. Is this the first uh, mission to the International Space Station? Or the first, uh, let's see, no, 98. That would be the, maybe the first element was launched. Yes. Very, yeah, very oh. good, very good. 2003, a guy by the name of Michael Walter wins the Daytona 500 in dramatic fashion. What did NASA do in 2003? Oh, with these, the Mars rovers. Yes. Yeah, yeah there we go. Very good, right. Very good. spirit and opportunity. opportunity. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Don't you want to be part of NASA? I think I should be asking the questions of you. This is more small time gimmicks by a tall guy. Then give me that back. So what's STS stand for? Uh, what does STS stand for? As in like STS-118? Exactly. Um, oh, you 
<laughs> just aren't there yet, are you, buddy? No, 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 I, no I can, I'll get this. No, I'll get this. I, you're, it's a little bit of role reversal, but I'll get it. That's space, transportation. Shuttle. Oh, oh, so close. Uh, a space you were there. is right, right? The first two parts were the right. Service. Service. Is that right? Service mission? It's OK. <laughs> Better like that. <laughs> space transportation. Come on, it's space transportation so system. Exactly. Yes, Exactly. Okay. You got it. Jerry Ross. Yeah, OK, yeah. My okay. hero, Jerry Ross, okay. uh, yes, space walker extraordinary. Okay. And I believe the other one was uh, Franklin Chang Diaz. Very good. He's a, he's a good oh. friend of ours. Yeah. What's the chances of going eight times, breaking the record? You think you think you're uh, think you're astronaut zero. worthy? Zero? Uh, probably not. Not no. going to happen. Not uh, gonna happen. Uh, it was a different time and a different place. The missions are. We're going to start going to more of the long duration mission missions and going okay. to the space station. Okay. So hopefully, when I get back from Hubble, I'll be able to transition and get into the. Uh, the uh, International Space Station flow and get to go visit oh, that. that. That's great. Or he could be an eight-time guest on NASA Edge. Hey, now that yeah. I would do. That, oh, I'm up great! That. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Hey, hey you're watching NASA Edge. An inside and outside look at all things NASA.